Hey, Caribou here, and today I'll be going in depth with the Ultraflex Plus from Prompter People. If you see my previous scripting video, then you already know just how much this prompter has really helped me to improve my content. Now I'll be giving a closer look at its features and the different options it provides to fit nearly any scenario. Let's start with mounting options. There's a number of ways you can use it, like having a teleprompter mounted directly on your tripod, as you can see here. You can then use their included removable sled, and in this case the riser since I'm using a mirrorless camera, to get it positioned correctly. They also offer a 15mm rail mount option to use your existing rod setup to quickly mount the camera on it just like that. Having the teleprompter mounted like this gives you the ability to pan and tilt it with your camera to follow the talent when needed. I'm actually a big fan of the rail mount option because it's super quick to attach and remove the camera rig from it for when to go handheld or shoulder mounted. That being said, there is times that you want to move the camera around on the tripod and not have the prompter go with it, like when you're working with a single camera rig on your set. So in those cases, you can use their freestanding kit. You get a solid light stand that can hold the teleprompter with relative ease, and the rapid adapter makes it extremely quick and easy to mount it, rather than trying to screw the stand directly on it. I can mount it by myself thanks to that, and the build quality of the adapter, just like the rest of the equipment, is very sturdy. This is definitely the kind of gear that you can rely on for many years of use. So once you have it mounted on the stand, you can then bring your tripod over to use it. When you're done, just open the hood, and off you go to the next shot. Aside from the stand, they also offer an option for a junior roller if you're looking for something even more heavy duty that you can also easily roll around. Like I said, there's plenty of options to choose from to fit your scenario. As an example, when I was shooting the scripting video and wanted to get a shot outdoors, there were only two of us at the time to transport all the equipment, and that meant we had to try to stay as light as possible, and I know we wouldn't need to pan or tilt the camera, so we decided to go with the freestanding kit rather than hauling around this super bulky video tripod. It made the process so much easier and our backs really thanked us that day. You also have two options of displaying the script with this model. I used their tab grabber last time since we were traveling light, and it offers a very convenient way to use a tablet or a surface book to show your script. There's a number of apps you can download. I got the Prompt Smart one from the Play Store. It has this cool little feature where it'll follow along with your voice, though results kind of vary with it. Aside from that though, they do have their own auto reversing monitors that you can hook up to your laptop. With that option, you just plug in the included flash drive, to install their prompter software to get even more fine-tuned control. The model I have here is great for indoor use, it's very clear and easy to see. They also include a remote they can use to adjust the settings for the monitor more easily. And if you'll be working mainly outdoors, they do have a Hybrite 1000 nit version that's made just for that. Another important factor you'll likely be thinking about is storage. And I can say that they also have that covered very well with the optional soft bag. This version of it, unlike some older videos I've seen, has not only the big area to store the prompter itself, but a number of spacious outer pockets to put all of the accessories, minus stands of course. As you can see, I've got the rail mount block adapter, removable sled, riser plate, remote, and cables all in one bag, ready to go. They got you covered, and you know it definitely works really well because well, I've been using it this whole time. Now, besides the modularity, I really love the build of it, from the prompter itself to all of the accessories. It all looks and feels like a professional tool. Admittedly, as someone without direct access to some of the more high-end gear, it helps have something to remind your client that you know what you're doing and that they can trust you with their vision. Now as promised, I'll go over some tips when using a teleprompter like the Ultraflex Plus. Here's the two best things I've found that really improve the final result. First, make sure to keep the camera lens lined up with your talent's eyes. If you never used one before, you might assume that you just have to be in front of it and read the script. But you also have to keep note of where the lens is pointing and have your talent look there to get the full effect. The second tip has to do with the script itself. It's better to write it closer to how you or your talent would normally speak, even including little pauses and things like that to keep it as natural sounding as possible. This will help even further to keep the audience engaged since it feels more like the talent's having a conversation with them rather than just talking at them. I'm sure you've seen some videos where you can clearly tell the person was just reading from a script. That's where better writing really comes in handy. Hopefully that information was helpful to you. This prompter really has been an amazing tool to have. The benefits of scripting out videos, making sure I cover every detail, and plan every shot really can't be understated. I can already see a massive difference in the quality of the content I've made with it, so I can't wait to see what else I create with this prompter. I'd like to give a big thanks to prompter people for sending it out. The customer service has also been really amazing, helping me with any little questions I've had and things like that. I highly recommend you guys check out their line of teleprompters. If you thought the options for the Ultraflex Plus is good, just wait till you see all the other models and options they have. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out down in the comments or on my other social media channels. And if you're not following me there, then uh, 
go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, make sure to follow Prompter People and their sister company, Flowlight. Speaking of which, they also have another company that makes some killer video lights. I'm actually hoping to get my hands on a few of those as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.